Well, hello and welcome back. My name is Holiday Doc. Thank you for tuning in to the online podcaster. Today is my introduction to the channel. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to do an introduction video or not. I really felt like a lot of people probably already knew who I was and what I do. But you may be surprised to know the start of my career. A lot of people don't really know that story. Um, so I decided I could probably do that. The gameplay behind you is gameplay of my own from my Masters uh, League team. And we got up to a rank, I think, of 20th on the Masters division. And then we kind of fell off for a few days. And uh, we're just slowly grinding our way back. But I love league play. I love competitive gameplay. And that's pretty much all I play since I hit uh, Master Prestige. Um, so Hardpoint, Raid, against Team, also in Masters. So uh, it's a pretty good game. We're losing so far. That's that's awesome. Probably should have watched the video before I select. But we'll, we'll just hope that it works out in our favor. Um, hopefully I click the right video. Anyways, who's Holiday Doc? Where did I come from? Well, you may be surprised to know that I've been competitive gaming for over 10 years. It's, uh, it actually stems back to, I think, 97, 98 is when I first started competitive gaming in PC land. And I played first-person shooters as well as third-person shooters both on the PC and it was a game called Rogue Spear you may remember it as uh, probably the start of the series Rainbow Six Rogue Spear and um, but it was just a platform of its own and it was amazing amazing game it was a lot of fun and I played singles competitive on that game they didn't really have much team stuff back then for that game as far as I can remember but I remember singles players was all that the rage was about and we played on a site called clan ladders and I was top 10 on that site for almost the whole year it was pretty fun it was incredible I loved love getting into the whole scene then and after that game came out as far as competitive shooters goes I didn't really get back into the scene until SOCOM came out for the PlayStation 2 you guys, if you guys are, you know, long-time competitive gamers like myself, you know that SOCOM was the shit, okay? PlayStation 2, it didn't get any better than that. <laughs> you pop on your little one-year headset, talking to your buddies, playing some SOCOM, that was the days, man. And I played that in 2001, 2002. We competed on a website called SOCOM Battles that was after the success rate was bought out by GameBattles.com. So my start in competitive gaming really stems from the start of Game Battles, which is kind of interesting. I was on the site well before a lot of people were, um, and I was competing before a lot of people even knew what competition as far as console gaming was. And, you know, SOCOM really started it all for competitive console gaming. It really did. You have to give credit work where these guys you know laid the foundation for the rest of us it was amazing and SOCOM 2 came out that game was even more competitive you know I remember grinding that game hours on end going to you know little local lands and and playing online tournaments and competitions hours and hours and hours it was incredible that was the most grinding of any game that I've ever done it was unbelievable the amount of time I put into that and to think to think back at uh, at all the hours wasted. Well, I wouldn't say wasted, but you know, we didn't really play for any sort of big money, so it was I don't know. It was it was an amazing experience. And a little known fact also from the SOCOM two days is I used to record console gaming gameplay before anyone. And I posted a couple of these videos. I still have them. They're on disc. And I, I posted a couple of gameplays from tournaments that we played in SOCOM 2. And people kind of thought it was pretty neat. Uh, I was, I guess, the f one of the founding people to ever think of, hey, you know what? Let's record PlayStation 2 gameplay for, for practice reasons, to go over it with your team later. And... And, let, and stuff like that you know also we did it for cheating reasons to make sure people didn't cheat us and to make sure that we weren't cheating and we could post proof of it it was uh it was just crazy you know you think back like if i had started youtube back then oh my lord oh my lord the things that would have amounted i couldn't even fathom to to think of what i've missed out on 
but thank goodness we're doing good in this game. So, you know, I do have a ton of gameplays recorded from SOCOM 2. I've got three or four full discs full of gameplays, and I go back and I look at them every once in a while, and the quality is awful. It's, like, god-awful, but it's it's fun, and it really, it's, like, reminiscing. I don't know. It's pretty cool stuff. So, from there, where, where did I get turned on to Call of Duty? Well, you know, I was one of those guys that, like... Pfft, Xbox who plays Xbox I was still playing play PS2 and then Call of Duty 4 came out and I remember going to my friend's house <clears throat> Pilsner and he had Call of Duty 4 and I was playing it and I I would fell in love instantaneously just fell in love like and I was the biggest after that I went about Xbox went about COD 4 and I played more Call of Duty 4 S&D than I ever cared to think about ever again I was the biggest freaking pub star that ever was out there it was ridiculous and it just it's freaking crazy to think that you know people were grinding that game in competitive as much and even more than i was doing public publicly so it's interesting um then cod cod world at war came out and that was i guess the switching point you know let's let's go back and let's see if Call of Duty competitive is as competitive as SOCOM was. And I, you know, re-hooked up with Game Battles. I went on there. We started a team. And we did phenomenally well. We, you know, we played over a thousand matches in World at War. And we had less than 50, 50 losses total. Uh, we started off playing Hardcore TDM. Not really sure why. And it moved over to Map Gen. And we were kind of like the Map Gen variant stars for the game. It was, it was an amazing time, and that's also when my YouTube career really started out. I started, you know, making videos, trying to convince people that I wasn't cheating. Everybody thought I had this modded controller because if you remember back in World at War days, the M1A1 was the end-all, be-all weapon. It was if you could fire that gun quickly, or if you had a modded controller, like that was the best gun to use. So I didn't have a modded controller, but I did have a really, really fast, ridiculously fast trigger finger. So everybody accused me of cheating all the time. I had to make videos. Basically, I bought three brand new controllers, and I made a video of myself, you know, just firing the controllers off, brand new out of the package, to convince people that I didn't cheat. And from there, everybody just wanted to see more videos from me. They're like, okay, so if you guys aren't cheating, how is it you guys are getting your wins? So I would literally, you know, record us record playing with the Hava HD, if you remember that thing. That was awful, too. And I would talk over the gameplay and, you know, explain our strategies and talk over that. And that's how I got started on YouTube. So the game is about to end, though. Story time. We'll have to wait for another video. And I'm really looking for, forward to posting a lot more cool stuff here on the channel. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. My name is Holly Doc, and I'm out.